been a lot of talk about racism in regards to this issue of African students being trapped in Ukraine. But what people don't realize is that the African nations, the African governments, are responsible for getting its people out of Ukraine, just like the U.S. government got its people out. And the British government got its people out. The Ukraine government is responsible for making sure that its people, its refugees, are taken to a safe place during times of war and conflict. And Ukrainian society puts its women, its children, its disabled people, and people over 60 above all others. So even able-bodied young men, young Ukrainian men, 60 years and younger, were not allowed to leave the country during this conflict. They have not been allowed to to leave, as far as I'm aware. Ukraine makes sure that its, its weakest people, the weakest people in its society, the people who are not as able to defend themselves, are taken care of first, are safe first. So Ukraine is going to make sure that these people, the women, the children, the disabled, people over 60, Ukraine is going to make sure that those people, its people who fit into those categories, are safe first. The thing about the African students, whether they were Nigerian, Cameroonian, etc., is that they are not Ukrainian refugees. They are not citizens of Ukraine. They are visitors in the country. And like somebody said, these these students have a home to go to, whether it be Nigeria, Cameroon, or any other country. The, the, uh, The Ukrainian people, on the other hand, do not have a home to go to right now. Many of them don't because their home is in danger of being destroyed. And for that reason, for that reason, the Ukrainian government has to take care of them first. The Ukrainian government has a responsibility to take care of its own people first, to get its own people to safety. The African governments have a responsibility to get their people to safety. So it was really the responsibility of the African governments to get those students out of that country. That's their responsibility, to get them back home, whether it be back home to Nigeria or Cameroon. People keep talking about racism, but, you know, and I don't know if there was any racism involved at, at the, you know, the Ukrainian border, the border between Ukraine and Poland. I don't know if there was racism involved. Maybe there was. I do know that racism is not the reason why those people were not allowed to get on that train. They weren't allowed to get on the train because they are not refugees. They're not Ukrainian refugees. Ukraine is not their home. Their home is Nigeria, it's Cameroon, so on and so forth. They have a home to go back to. And you have to wonder how come their people, their countries, their governments did not take steps to get them out of Ukraine. They're still over there. Last time I checked, they're still in Ukraine. Their governments have not taken steps to get them out of that country. And I have to wonder why. Why?